Are you guys sick of me and my birds yet? Ha <laughs> too bad. Got another birdie mold. These actually um, came in a set of two. This is the smooth one, and this is the big one. Got these from Amazon, it's from Wee House. I love their molds. I have several of their molds. And uh, yeah, I've always been really pleased with them. They're, they're good quality. They are really just good molds. And this, the reason that I was uh, intrigued by it is A, it's shiny on the inside. Okay. Uh, the inti resin one that I have is matte. Uh, this one is shiny. So I want a shiny bird. So I'm going to make a shiny bird. Uh, one thing that I am going to do though is because it has a beak. See? Beak. This one also has wings built in. So that's kind of cool. So we'll see. Oh, and it has a, a wider tail. It goes thin and then wide, which I think is actually kind of nifty looking. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to spray a little bit of alcohol into his little head. Um, and squish it around a little bit just to, you know, moisten it up a little bit so we make sure that uh, our beak beak gets plenty of plenty of resin. Now what I have over here is 80 mil of my uh, Tanserex uh, one to one epoxy resin. I've recently done a uh, unboxing and review of that. It was the first time that I had used it. Made this gorgeous creature here with it. Love it. Um, I did run it through the bubble remover for about nine minutes and you can see some of the little pin bubbles that always get left on top uh, when you run things through a bubble remover but they're very easily gotten rid of either with isopropyl alcohol or a tiny torch. Whatever tool you choose to use. That rhymed. Ha ha ha. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to pour into our bird. Now, the reason that I made 80 mil is because I don't know how much it's going to take. This is the first time I used a bird. So let's find out together, shall we? I'm going to do what I normally do with things that have little pointy pieces. Fish mouth. Is uh, give it a squish just to make sure that there's not any um, air bubbles or anything in there. And I don't see any, so that's a good thing. So we're going to keep on keeping on. And I'm being a bit slow and methodical with my pouring just because I don't want to pour too fast and make bubbles. All right, so now that his tail has got stuff in him, I'm going to do the same thing. A little squish. Get out any bubbles that happen to be in there. I don't see any offhand, so that's a good thing. So let's keep going. And we'll see if we have any left over at the end. Well, it looks like we're gonna. So we can see how much resin it takes. One thing that I do like about this, uh, one of the things that I like about this mold is that it has a nice big wide opening. And it's not too terribly curved in so you run less of a chance of uh, bubbles getting stuck around the perimeter you know because some things have like like really sharp slopes and uh, you can get bubbles caught under there really really easily and it's so so terribly annoying um, and I don't like it <laughs> So we have, I've got to hold this up to the light so I can actually see the doodah, about 20 mil left. So it's 60 mil, so two ounces. So that's a good thing. Yay. Awesome. So 
So now that I have a little bit left over, I'm going to add another member of the family to my herd, herd of turtles. Herd of, herd of, herd of turtles? Herd of turtles? And what I'm probably going to end up doing, because this is not going to fill up the turtle all the way. Uh, so what I'm probably going to end up doing is giving this turtle an iridescent layer and probably just a, a clear butt. Who knows, right? But we're really here for the bird, aren't we? That's right. That and I'm testing how the Tensorex reacts to alcohol inks and, and whatnot. Uh, because I just got it, the resin, and uh, I'm, I'm doing a bunch of different little uh, projects with it just to see how it works. You know, you guys saw how it works with clear and with uh, a temporary tattoo stuck on it, or in it, or around it, or whatever you want to call it. And uh, yeah, so I want to see it in different applications and see how it works. And so far, as per manufacturer recommendation, I am using a bubble remover. I know not everybody has a bubble remover. Uh, if you don't, my suggestion to you would be mix it up gently, slowly, until you don't see any more streaks. And then, once that happens, let it sit in a room temperature room, uh, which always kind of makes me laugh when people say room temperature. Okay, well, what is room temperature? You know, there's many different rooms, many different cities, many different weather patterns. Um, but generally speaking, room temperature is anywhere from... Uh, 72 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, so right now my room is a little bit, a little bit uh, warmer than that, but I'm okay with that. I've got the heater on because it's cold outside. So uh, 75 or 72 to 75 degrees would probably be uh, equate about to. Uh, I don't know, 22, 24 degrees uh, Celsius. So I always try to equate it because I know lots of folks are from out of town, <laughs> from where I am. So I like to try to give you Celsius as well. All right. So we're going to let these guys sit and marinate and cure, and I will see you next steps. Bird is done. Really, really interested to see. I love these wings. All right, so let's see how we did. See how the new mold versus new resin versus me being incredibly patient and not messing with it. are very, uh, very malleable. I like them a lot. Let me get it up. Where is it? But over at the little head. Very easy. wider on the end than it is in the middle. So what I'm going to do is just spray a teeny bit of alcohol down in there just to loosen it up. There we go. So. And there he is. Wow. Got some fingerprints on him. 
hands on me. Getting cleaned up here. Give her a little bird bath. <laughs> yeah, I know. Me and my cheesy ass jokes. This is the entertainment, folks. This is what you get. It's great. <laughs> Look at that. There are a couple of little pinballs in his tail just along right there, but is that five tiny itty bitty? Wow. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I like this a lot. Sorry about my froggy voice. I just woke up. It's 2 o'clock in the morning. That is just a sweet, sweet little bird. I like this mold a lot. This resin is it. I'm digging it. So, there we have it. Isn't he adorable? I love him so much. But thank you guys so much for being here. I really, really appreciate it. I, uh... <sighs> I hope very much to see you in the next one. Maybe it won't be a bird this time. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much, and I look forward to seeing you again. Take care, guys. Cheers.